What's up everybody and welcome back here to Torque Drift on the mobile platform. We are here today to do a chase challenge. We get a chance to chase down the game dev Billy Goat. So we do already have it completed. I did complete it, but we're going to be trying to get on that leaderboard because uh, I want to get up there on the leaderboard. So we're going to try a couple different cars, try and get as high as a point we can. And uh, well, it looks like we're going to be rocking the S15 first. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about the S15 soon. So I've been working on the S15. We're going to test it today. And uh, I will do a full build breakdown on it for you guys in a later episode. Billy Goat, that S13, Cali Banks, Chase Challenge. Let's send it and uh, see what we can do. Try to get on that leaderboard. Chasing down a game, Dev. Kick it in the fifth. Wish I would have been closer on initiation. We're going to have to bring it back up to the wall and smack the wall. So that's not going to be a leaderboard run by any means, but we're still going to finish it off. And not the best tandem run I've done, chase run against this before, obviously, because I have completed the challenge. I did complete it with uh, my E46, but we have chosen to use the S15 first. We do this a couple times because it's not often you get a chance to chase down a game dev. So we're going to see what the high score is right now. As I'm recording this episode, I believe last time I looked, it was in the 90,000 or yeah, 90,000 range. That's a better initiation. Now we're up on that wall, tickling the wall nice and close on his door. Quick transition, early transition there to suck back up on his door. Felt a little bit off there. Definitely should have been closer on the wall there instead of uh, far back. Unfortunately, we kind of tilted off at the end. So it would have been enough to get the crates, but it's not enough to get on the leaderboard because I think the leaderboard is 80,000. Yeah, it's 86 now for 200. Let's take a look. Let's scroll all the way up, see what the top spot is right now. Top spot is 105, and it looks like Fernand's up there with 104. GG Fernand. And uh, some of the other guys that I know, Wally's up there, and uh, a bunch of the guys that I know and uh, tandem with are up there. So we need to get up here with these guys, get up with these mans. So we're going to go to the lobby, and we're going to change up the car and try a different one. We're running out of tires for that car anyways. So S15, looks like we're running out of tires for everything. So we're going to send our E46 and uh, see how close we can get and see if we can't even just get on that 200th spot of that leaderboard because we're nowhere near leaderboard points right now and E46 not having the speed to keep up in the beginning but we are able to suck right back up on the door E46 one of my better chase cars Ooh, a little bit almost too hard in the paint running the wall right there this is probably a better chase run. I should have transitioned sooner. Better chase run than that of my S15. But it's still not going to be enough to get up there. It's it's definitely hard to uh, run a perfect run. And I'm sure, you know, you guys are sitting here like, oh, I'm up there in leaderboards. I mean, maybe you are. And, you know, it's just I'm having a hard time making that perfect run, getting all the uh, spots of the course dialed in in one run. And that's kind of uh, what I was having a problem with. So now we got we gained a little ground there. We didn't spin as much tire. Initiated in nice and tight on the wall. Going to suck back up to him a little bit more. Getting all the door dive points. Transition. See if we can't do a late transition and run this wall nice and wide. Try and stay as close as we can to him. There we go. Quick switch. Getting the close calls there. Ah, got over jealous. That, that would have been a good run, but see, I tanked it at the end. Oh, it's not easy to uh, get everything in, you know, settled in one run. I mean, I make mistakes a lot, so that's probably why. And uh, I'm not always the most consistent, smooth driver all the time. But when I can put it together, I can put it together for sure. It's a little bit better. Ooh, that was the closest transition I could have ever done to the front of his car or rear of his car with the front of mine so we're going to try and stay there we go 
Ah! <laughs> right there again at the end. Just, just ever so slightly off. Oh my gosh. We're getting better, so we can try it one more time in the U46. We'll probably switch up cars. Definitely a fun challenge to run Cali Bank to get a chance to chase down a dev. Um, you know, it's it's not a frustrating challenge at all because I already have it. So now we're just trying to get leaderboard points. And that's what we need to be doing. Just being right up there with him. A little late transition there. A little bit too, too hard on that one. Fortunately, we uh, banged his door a little bit too much. So this run is not going to be it either because of the door banging that pursued. I feel like the E46 is probably the best chance I have to get this, but we are definitely out of tires with it. Almost maxed out level and everything on those lines, but we're going to switch to another car. Yeah, we are pretty much out of tires. So we're going to go with the uh, S14, which has been changed up a little bit, is now rocking a rotary. So we are going to see what we can do in the S14. Been a minute since we've been in the 14. And <clears throat> nobody saw that. Going to restart that. <clears throat> yep, nobody saw that at all. So if you guys have completed this chase challenge, are you up there on the leaderboard? What is your uh, gamer tag in the game? I'd be very curious to see where people sit. I know where Fernan and Wally and all them sit. But uh, some of you are uh, not a... Uh, super AA class drivers you know some of you guys that are just starting out are you guys up there did you guys get a perfect chase run in this challenge and you know chase down the dev and get up there you know have one of the better chases of your life I feel like this S14 could do it we may have to give the S14 another shot because that's getting there Big thank you to the game devs for always bringing us amazing content in this game. More and more content coming. When I find out about some secret stuff that I can tell you guys, I will. Um, I know I'm super excited to uh, be doing some new stuff here very soon on the game. Ooh. Oh, I I couldn't I couldn't transition soon enough. So I feel like. I, I'm not sure what car we need to run. I mean, we could try running the uh, Chaser, but... Chaser. JZX. But I think I may have to just cut my losses and try the E46 again because I don't think I'm going to be able to get any, any better than I've already gotten. Sadly to say, I feel like almost a 100,000 point chase run is... A extremely, extremely high run and a very near perfect run. As I say that, we are getting getting up there with this uh, JZX. So we're gonna have to try the JZX again because getting up there with that car. And we kind of messed up the bank, but we did get a new high, new high record with it. So JZX might have something for. Uh, Billy Goat there. Just gotta try and really bang our initiation and get as close as we can to him on the wall. I mean, that's not really how to do it, but we managed to keep points, so I will take that. I don't know how we managed to keep points on that wall through that. But we did. This big girl is just all over the back end of the S13, but I was bobbling a little bit too much with it. Still getting up there. Clicking up there. I just want to get on the leaderboard. I know a bunch of you guys are probably watching like, man, you suck. You can't even get up there. But, you know, it's not easy, like I said, to put a perfect run together. I've been driving so many different cars that, you know, each car is different. So I got to remember how each car drives and handles. But this GCX is uh, putting in work, except for right there, shooting past a little bit too much. Man, I really, I'm really trying to get this. It's, 
it's it's now a challenge to me to get up there, but I know I have to nail that near perfect run, which is almost impossible for me right now. We're gonna give it one more shot. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. And as always, appreciate you guys coming back. If you guys want to keep seeing Torch Drift content, make sure you comment down below. As always, I appreciate the support and all the comments from you guys and you guys coming back and watching all the videos. And a big thank you once again to Torch Drift for allowing me to be a part of this amazing mobile drifting game that is uh, making strides in drifting world and everything like that. PC with wheel support is going to be amazing. So as always, I'll see you guys next time and I'll see you guys on the track.